YouTube, it's Faye. Uh, without makeup on, because I was not planning on doing a video today, because, uh, I don't know, I just wasn't planning on making a YouTube video today. But my friend Kelly recently blew the head gasket on her Jeep, and I was like, oh, we should do it together, that would be so fun, instead of, you know, doing it elsewhere, or, I don't know, just having someone else do it. I was like, we should do it, it's, it'll be fun. Um, and in the process of just replacing the cylinder head, I had taken the head bolts and thrown them all away, because, well, not thrown them away, but thrown them into a box, and uh, then when I opened up the new ones, I realized that they're actually like a whole bunch of different sizes. And uh, I didn't, never made note of which one went where. So that's what this video is going to be about. Where the head bolts go on a 2002 Jeep Wrangler. Okay, here goes. Okay, I figured this would be easy enough to remember because all the head bolts on this side have basically, it looks like it's a stud and a nut, although they come fully assembled like this. And then on the other side, they're just bolts. So thinking just like everything else, I would just take them out, make note of this, throw them away, get new ones. But here is what I forgot and what I spent a lot of time looking up. So on the passenger side of the head, you have these bolts, but then the second, you see how that there's a little bit of a stem protruding there on that bolt? I don't know what else to call it, but there's, yeah, some stuff. <laughs> um, so we've got this head bolt. I'm gonna move over here. And then number two is the head bolt with the little protruding piece there. And then right in the back, the second in, so number six is the other one that has that little stem protruding. And the reason for that is because these are actually going to help us fit the valve cover gasket into place. Now, another couple of things to note about this is that this right here, this stud or this bolt, actually it's a bolt, um, goes into the water jacket. So this one is going to have a thread sealant on it, a very specific Loctite part number, uh, and that is 512, and here it is. I was able to find this at my local O'Reilly's, however, you can also find it on Amazon, and I will link that in the description below. So you put a generous coating of this onto this bolt as you thread it in the hole. <laughs> now there's a very specific tightening sequence, like most heads that sort of starts from the inside, it works its way out in a circular pattern, all of these are going to have a final torque of 110 foot-pounds and the owner's manual just basically says, or I'm sorry, the, the service manual um, basically says that you're just going to tighten all of them to 110 pounds. I, except for this one. That's the other thing I want to note. This one, because it's going through and has the sealant on it, is only 100 foot-pounds. So this guy's special. Make note. Bolt number 11 is special, so make note of that. Bolt number 14 is the one all the way in the back. And that one, it said, as you're installing the head, you're actually gonna tape that up. You can barely see it in my flashlight. There it is, all the way back there. So it kind of sits against the firewall there. And when you're installing the head, you actually want to install the head with that bolt in the head. And we just use a little bit of masking tape to hold it up maybe about a couple inches at, like into place so that it wouldn't hit the side of the firewall, but also so that it wasn't sticking too far down and was interfering with us trying to line up the head on the, on the pins. Um, still have to tighten these guys down yet. I haven't, haven't quite gotten there yet. So what I like to do is I will break them up into three torque, torque stitch, I guess, uh, three sequences. So first I, I do them hand tight. Second, I do them to 35 foot pounds. Second, I do them to 75 foot pounds. And then I did the final tightening sequence of 110 foot pounds aside from this one, which is only hundred. Actually, I can't say that I did it. My friend Kelly did it because this is her Jeep that we're working on. And um, obviously that's a really important part. So I wanted her to do that. And that's why this is a freaking Jeep in the shop, y'all, and not a Toyota. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something, even though it's not Toyota related, but that's fine. Don't just take your head bolts and just throw them in a box. Make sure you know which ones go where. And if you didn't, then hopefully you got something out of this video. I just ranted for five minutes, so I'm probably gonna cut a lot of that out and I will see y'all in a future video. And yes, I will address the shop chicken. I promise, I will address the shop chicken, where she has been, why she's not in this video, uh, and why she's not in the shop. But yeah, stay tuned. That'll probably be next week. All right, see you later, bye.